Wait. Sweet weapon you got there, Aiden. Yeah, I should send one. Okay. This is the first king from the fortune teller's deck. Oh, fuck. You got a problem? Yeah, but... Come on, just out with it already. Okay. My name's Paul. I run a damn... Me and Daisy are in charge. Her son Fitz is our second. Recently, some assholes moved into our territory. Avery and Francis. You heard of them? No. Daisy went to talk to him to be... Our neighbors beat her and broke her hand. Even after that, we were willing to talk. I mean, we're not fine. So Fitz took the crew with him for another meeting. I, uh, I need to... I see. Okay, I can... Oh, you're a godsend. Back in the day, it was called the Incubate Building. Your signs are still up, so you shouldn't have trouble. Just take a look. I'll check it out. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly. Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can re-establish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. The whole district is powered by an electrical substation. I was gonna send a squad to turn it on, but I heard you already did that. Good job, kid. Too bad you handed it over to the civilians. We could've used it. Doesn't matter now, Ro. At least we don't have to worry about electricity anymore. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Ro. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass to wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving taunts. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the Commander-in-Chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Aiden, I heard Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. Come on, tell me more. She's still seeing that. Aiden, you're a fucking hero. No video still have a call. Fuck me. I just always complain. Oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Ro Meyer, they're solid. But Jack and Juan, they're destined to stab you in the back.
What's the problem? Oh, nothing. Except that's where Frank lost all the Night Runners and his leg. Jack and Juan are throwing you to the infected wolves to further their own goals. You're just a tool to them. Fucking lunatics. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Okay, I'll talk to Frank. Thanks, Aiden. Ro, I'll be there as soon as I can. Something came up. Hurry, Aiden. We're all waiting for you. Goddamn UV lights. You sweet weapon you got there, Aiden. Is it new? She's still seeing that. Yeah. Talk to me, son. Frank! Are you alive, man? Huh? Ravik? I told you to fucking leave me alone. Now it's me, Aiden. Who? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Tell me about the VNC Tower. We were so close back then, Aiden. So close. Despite what the others said. <laughs> I really did have a good plan. A solid plan. But it was a bloodbath, Aiden. A bloodbath. Frank, how do I get to the rooftop? We went in without a full team. <laughs> Bastards. If they'd only had faith and stuck with me. But one lost faith and let the others astray. <coughs> who was that? A Judas, that's who. If it wasn't for Rav, <clears throat> past is dead. So they say, <laughs> what matters is, uh, that was the end of the Night Runners. Okay, but how can I get to the rooftop? <laughs> you can't. Nobody can. Now, fuck you. Isn't this city beautiful, Pilgrim? Rose 
already waiting for you. track of the fugitive. Over. Bit of electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Why well, ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up, then... Oh, fuck me. It's Row. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for... Just leave it. Get out. Now. Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. Don't want my name ending up in some memorial down in the streets. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro.
Bro, I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blackout. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Relax, Leon. You can give it to her yourself. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Rob. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Chris? Ro, I'm here. The power won't come back on. You'll have to check the fuses. A reminder, <laughs> that of those around you, please make sure you I think I restored the power. Get the 
cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work. Leon's gone. Fuck. All right, I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the eighth floor. Hey, hotshot. If you need some exercise, 
I've got packages I need delivered. You must like hanging out in dark zones, is that it, Aiden? What took you so long? Next time, you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I, I know you really tried to help them. What is it? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Are you coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap, or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. Hey, are you? Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How are you feeling about the mission, Aiden? Now we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> so, so, my wife Marsha, our child is due any day now. And we've been trying for a long time to have a kid. And it seems... See? I told you somebody needs to come over and give you some... <laughs> oh, nice boots you got there. Oh, thanks, man. I got them at the bazaar. Oh, no, did you have to? Now he won't shut up. Yeah, he traded his official PK knife for them. And when Roe found out... I had to clean the latrines for a week. Now, I have my eye on a nice jacket at the same place but this mission will earn me some extra. Will you shut up already? You're just jealous, because you look like ass, and I get all the pussy. <laughs> I'm not sure he's a hard Of course he is. You've seen the burns on his face, and I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he had. Damn right. Can you tell me any? When he and Matt had a major falling out? Yeah, it was hell. Squad 101 had orders to take over the old city warehouse. Thought it was empty until they went inside. They turned on their flashlights and looked up. The ceiling was weird, covered with clump. And then the rags jumped down. Hundreds of them. God. Fuck. They radioed command, but the orders were to hold position. They didn't. Afterwards, Jack ordered their executions. They were deserters. But Roe defied Jack. Said that sending them there was a mistake in the... We thought Jack would have Roe shot for insubordinate. Sure did. Okay. Time to get some shut-eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Well, you rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatile? Well, that was a car. It was, and we pulled through. You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. What about them? They're everywhere. Spread in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes... Good point. First someone turns on the electricity, and then when I questioned the renegade off, 
He babbled something about GRE facility. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? I know that Waltz is hunting for it. Is any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Maybe we figure out what it is and find... But for now, we'll get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Yo, Sleeping Beauty! Aiden! The head honcho is here, let's roll! And Matt brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. You expect us all to fit in here? A little snug, ain't it? Aiden, you're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying. I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? I still need time. Let's finish our job. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. Ro, this again? Really? We have Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan? Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach... I'm fine. Get to... Sir, right? Go already. Hey, you guys want to hear a joke? Oh, where's Bob? Oh, I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us. Oh. Where's Bowski? Sorry, boss. Won't say a peep. You're off key, dump. It went like this. The power's unstable again. All right, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork. 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Where's Bowski? Recon. Careful, Wisbowski. Looks clear.
Oh no. There's Basket. Jack. Jack, you there? There's. There's been an attack. Only I made it. Fuck. No, Edro? I, I don't know. I, I don't see him. Aiden. Bro had the transmitter. Locate it. It's our only chance. It's no time to mourn. You must find Ro. We'll get you help as soon as the elevators are back up. I'll do what I can. Ro? Kill you, motherfuckers. I'll fucking kill you. Aiden! Oh, you survived. I thought you were dead. They fucking wish. You'll pull through, Ro. Just hang in there. Oh, well, I will. The transmitter? Matt said you have it. I do. You can't lose it, Aiden. You can't. Aiden. Don't you think you should wait for that potato medal I promised you? What? You withdrawing my commendation, Lieutenant? Oh, shut up. It's just... Ah, our dog text. Don't let my boys be forgotten. If you see a fallen man, please take his tag. <sighs> they deserve it, son. Here. The transmitter. I'm in trouble. The PKs are all dead. I warned you. If you get yourself killed, I swear I'll come in there and find a way to bring your lifeless corpse back to life just so I can kill you myself. Spare me the lecture, okay? Just come down from there already. I'm not coming down. I need to get higher. I'm gonna find a way up. Fine. I'll wait. Stuck here, Luan. I need help. I'll get Frank. Hurry. Oh, God. Luan? Luan? Did you get Frank? Thirtieth floor. The infected. They, they blew up. Fuck it. I told you. Frank, wait. Where are you going? He's as good as dead, Luan. I'm sorry. This is where I lost all my night runners. I 
not going through that again. He's not dead yet. He's there and he needs you. He needs a coffin. That's what he needs. Frank, you smelly old alcoholic cunt. Why don't you fucking get a grip on yourself and step up for once? Some of our equipment should still be there, in the elevator shaft, one or two floors above you. Frank, I think I found it. What's it for? It's a grappling hook. A rope launcher. It's a what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to, and shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay. Get the hang of it, Frank. Sure you are. It's simple, but it can save your ass. Where to now? Where you were headed, Aiden. Upstairs. You have to go up one level. From there, you're gonna go to the side wing. Where to the side wing? The main wing is full of infected. Go. You have several floors to climb.
I'm on a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump, and fly to the fisheye. See you there. What? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better trained men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Luan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. Aiden! It's me. I won't leave Get you on up. your own. You're talking to a dead man, Luan. I'm coming to you. Wait for me. You what? No, no way, Luan. Luan? Hanging, jumping, and climbing, whatever it takes. It will be worth it, Aiden. Communication is everything. Fuck okay. 
an asshole. If anything happens to her, it's on you. Yeah. It's all your fault. Go ahead and do your suicide mission. But leave her out of it. I didn't ask her to come... I'll radio and talk her out. Forget it. She turned off her radio. I guess I said a few things too many and... Fuck. Fortunately, I warned Matt and the PKs won't let her in. Listen, I'm near the top already anyway. Even if she did make it, it'll all be over by then. You... you're where? On top of the building? <laughs> you motherfucker. I didn't fucking believe you'd make it. But holy shit, you will. What were you after, uh, on, on your mission? Radio New Hope. Imagine. Messages of peace and unity. Bringing people together. Giving them... hope. Yeah, well... I was a hopeless romantic in my younger days. What can I say? <laughs> At the transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch, and that's it. It worked. Great. Now listen. Uh, been thinking. Radio New Hope is still an option, but it's your choice. Juan gets what he wants, and gives me what I want. The way to find Mia. The truth about her. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. Frank, what kind of music did you used to listen to? What? I'm wondering what kind of music you'd play on your radio station. 
Don't tell me it'll just be you talking all the time. If so, I'm changing my mind. You motherfucker, I can't believe it. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you so, so much. You have no idea. Any kind of music, anything you want. Aiden, something's gone wrong. We can't detect the transmitter signal. The people need this antenna more than you do. What? Aiden? What have you done? You'll hear soon enough. And let's hope Frank's still got it. Frank? You handed control of this antenna to that washed up drunk? I can't believe it. I'll take it back. I promise. Yeah, good luck climbing the building yourself. Aiden. And I thought we were becoming friends. Sorry, Jack. I made my choice. Good day, Philidor. Frank is back, and I've got some more exciting news for you. Blankets, food, and drinking water are being collected at the canteen. All those in need can report to Nicholas. Stay tuned, and I'll be back soon with another message of hope. Meanwhile, enjoy the music. Hey, it's good to see you too. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, where did that come from? You owe me one. The soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm, um, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Lon, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. <laughs> Shut up! Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. You want to go shopping for new sneakers now? Is this some kind of joke or...? Do I look like I'm joking? The one... Uh, you said... Ah, uh, oh, shit. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? Aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. <clears throat> so, is Frank happy I gave him control of the tower? I hope it was worth it. Cause you lost your chance to find Mia? <sighs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers back. Back? Were they stolen? The one? If you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? <laughs>
Ugh! <laughs> 
See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and don't touch anything. Hey. Just go get them, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine. Inhibitor container nearby. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Pretty cozy nest. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Because that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. Vintage 2025. Small fortune in these bottles. Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. Hey, Luan, I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. But I, I didn't... Luan, wait. 
What? Hakon. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! Luan, are you there? Come on. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. Ugh. your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. Luan, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I... We tend to... Just forget.
forget it. Wow, the shy type. Looks like your constellation is Cygnus. She, what, miss? <laughs> there, look, the swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe, maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. So, did you He... They were... It's a simple story. He didn't mind. The good thing is... You still care. Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the per- So the weak little- I used to hate her. <laughs> Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make- This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge every- Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. Fucking cap- You can't turn back the- True. Yeah. Good morning, Villador. It's a brand new day, a brand new world. This is your friend Frank broadcasting. Yes, that's right. Broadcasting from the fisheye. From now on, I'll be bringing you all the good news from around Villador. Helping transform this city back into the community it once was. The <laughs> one? The one, you there? Right, folks. Let's start this new chapter with some inspirational music for you. Hey, you there? Come to the canteen. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm. I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye, and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I wanna help you, Aiden. Fine. Be there soon. <laughs>